Hi there, my name is Will Hutchinson and I'm a UKRI Research Fellow based at St Andrews. My work is focused on the timing and climate impacts of Iceland's largest basaltic eruptions. And really the, the key question that we are interested in is whether these events loft sufficient sulphur into the stratosphere to cause cooling of uh, northern hemisphere climate. To fingerprint stratospheric eruptions, we use the sulphur isotopes of ice core sulphate peaks. And in short, when we see very anomalous high or low values for our uh, sulphur isotopes, it tells us that, that SO2 was oxi oxidized at stratospheric uh, altitudes. So one of the, the key events they've been working on is this 15 year, 750 to 765 uh, long duration uh, basaltic, uh, pulse basaltic eruption of Katla. And what you can see in terms of the sulphur isotopes is that while the, the signal is dominantly tropospheric, there is evidence of a stratospheric uh, component, these anomalous values, in the final phase of the eruption. What's nice about the ice cores is that we can also pull out tephra, uh, volcanic glass, from this period. And when we measure the chemistry of this, what we found is that it matches really nicely the proximal deposits on Iceland. So this, this eruption from Katla is a really nice example of how we can fingerprint a stratospheric climate changing eruption and really nicely link it to an Icelandic source. We've also looked at other eruptions. And so this is the Elja uh, eruption in Iceland at 939, again, a basaltic eruption. What you can see in terms of the sulfur isotopes for this one is it really lags behind the main sulfur peak. Um, there is again stratospheric oxidation, but what's interesting is when we pull out the tephra, actually the chemistry of the tephra over this period where we see the stratospheric signal is andesitic and rhyolitic rather than the basaltic composition of Elja. So this tells us that Elja is unlikely to be the culprit uh, of this stratospheric climate changing event. So in summary, you know, what we found is that these large basaltic eruptions can uh, impact climate. They have potentially lofting sufficient sulphur uh, into the stratosphere, like as we showed with Katla. But actually in other cases, uh, like Alja, the story is more complicated. And it really shows why we need to have these high time resolution glaciochemical records to kind of unravel these, these mysteries.